Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These will be your love messages for February. Let's see. Social media. Regrets and single. Unfinished business. Something could have happened on social media. That, uh, my gosh. <laughs> Something could have happened on social media that you regret or your person regrets. Which could have led to someone being single. But there is the feeling of unfinished business here. So it may not be over at least maybe in one person's mind let's see okay got too many cards here but we got sweeping things under the rug and like half the deck underneath it hold on i just put that upside down okay what do we have for aquarius when it comes to love okay we have Divine Feminine, we have working together, we have stop looking in the rearview mirror and real love, butterflies, heartfelt, heartfelt connection, relationship goals, power couple, marriage, stability, wishes granted, romance, no question, no doubt. So you're looking for real love like Mary J. Blythe, okay? Some of you may find yourself working together with this person. You do have unfinished business and working together. So there's an indication that there could be another chance here. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. What are the energies between Aquarius and the person they are with romantically? What are the energies between the two for February? Okay, so I am seeing there's Sagittarius energy here. This person, they seem to be the one who feels like there's unfinished business because they are quite set on the past with you. They they have all the memories in their head and they're quite patient about waiting for you guys to reconnect. So this person seems to be the one who believes that there's still a chance. And they could be a Sagittarius. You, on the other hand... You have this tower situation and the emperor. You could be dealing with the Aries. But you probably are the one in control here. You may have been the one who either you lashed out or you shut them down because they lashed out or did something on social media. Could be social media, could be real life. But there's something that this person regrets doing. Mutual energy. Wow, is the four of wands ace of pentacles so there is a lot of there's a strong connection here there's a strong connection but something happened seven of swords three of swords this is their next move this person they do feel hurt okay i see them kind of keeping their distance as long as they feel like they're hurt um, I do feel like they're trying to come back in and take you back, especially if you're getting a lot of social media attention. This person may feel like other people are getting in their way. There's this need to like take you, if that makes sense, <laughs> to like, you know, get back, get you back, take you back from the world. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. But this is the near future energy. I do, I, I do see. I do see <laughs> you going into a connection. Could be back with them. Could be with someone new. But there's caution here with this nine of wands. This could be them because they do seem to have this three of swords. Someone is very cautious here. Someone really wants the relationship, but they're really cautious. I am getting the message that this person may be worried about your social media presence even if you're not big on social media i feel like they worry about your comments or people flirting with you or seeing you a certain way there's some type of jealousy or feeling of um feeling threatened so there is this i guess they could be clingy maybe they're the clingy type or they really hold on to you because i don't see them letting go 
like i don't see this person letting this go and i see you aquarius being in control here so let me see Let's see what we got okay love message for aquarius february fertility potential powerful powerful creative energy initiation energy this could mean a child on the way but it also speaks of new beginnings and also manifestation being able to create from your energy we have energy field adjustment aura cleansing and health so there's a lot to do with energy here some of you may be trying to just clear your energy from the situation let's see Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius when it comes to love? For February. You have the three of swords now. So I guess you're both kind of hurt. This could be vice versa, but now they have, the, okay, this could be vice versa because you both have the cards. You both flipped cards that you had. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You have Aries again, Sagittarius again. Here we have someone who is being, like they're still, they still have the temperance. They're being quite patient emotionally i feel like this person will wait for you they will wait for you and they will keep their emotions to themselves i'm seeing they are seeing you as the end all be all like this is it this is how the, this is just how they're seeing it i you know you may be seeing it different but they're seeing you as their completion this is probably why they have so much patience to wait like okay you know when people say you know, I'm just going to let you have your fun because I know that you're the one. This is what I'm seeing with this person. Like, they're just going to wait. Um, you have the three of swords. So something could have upset you. You are seeing this person as the five of pentacles. So you are seeing their insecurities and their tendency to feel rejected or not good enough. I see that you're really looking towards the ten of cups type of energy. You want fulfillment and love. But this person may be somewhat empty. Like somewhat insecure four of pentacles mutual energy this may be a relationship that can be quite clingy either you both clingy or this person is but there is this four of pentacles situation going on and this person is resistant to change so for example let's say you start you just started to get a lot of attention they don't like this change they don't like you may have changed something about yourself your look they don't like it because it threatens threatens the relationship because they feel like okay you're looking too good and everyone else is looking at you <laughs> so i'm getting that vibe like there's something that has this person a little bit afraid like a little bit afraid whether it's male or female but we have the queen of pentacles i don't see this being something that ends this relationship for good like i really don't whatever happened i don't see it ending the relationship especially with this person having all this patience why the temperance card yeah this person may withdraw they may withdraw if they have withdrawn it's because they feel afraid they feel hurt they're being patient they're trying to be patient and not lash out but you know why the emperor could be a fellow aquarius for some of you but this person it has to do with the attention that you're getting some of you may be giving like replying to the attention or they feel like you might be flirting or entertaining people you know 
by the world. This person, they will kind of ignore the bad though. It's like as bad as it gets or as bad as they feel, they will kind of ignore and still pursue you, wait for you. You know, I feel like you just have that effect on this person. Why the Three of Swords? Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. You, you may be quite busy, like, oh my gosh, okay. So you may be quite focused on making some kind of dream come true for yourself. You may be quite busy with business or whatever it is you're busy with. You have this Queen of Wands energy, but this can also be you just being really, you know, like, how do I put it? Confident and out there. <laughs> and... It may break your heart to see that this person may feel threatened by it or they don't support it or support you in your decisions. I feel like they'll come around. Why the five of pentacles? Yeah. You may feel like, okay, this person doesn't see that you want only them. Like you're seeing that they're kind of insecure. They, they don't see that you want just them. They think that everything else is a threat. So they push you away. This could be someone some of you are already married to. Or soon to be. We've got this Hierophant energy. Why the death card? Okay, could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra, but you may, so this could be some, like some of you got into fitness or something, some type of transformation or change, some type of change that happened. That kind of makes you a little bit more threatening. I don't know how else to put it. Why the Queen of Pentacles as the outcome? Aquarius. There's a Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, but then you got this Four of Pentacles again. And this Page of Cups. Some of you may have a child on the way. There could be like you're soon to conceive or you already are. Um, not all of you, obviously, but there, that's a thing here with these two cards showing up, but I am seeing this very loving and nurturing energy. I see someone coming towards you with the Knight of Cups, but there's also still this clingy energy. This, I'm not letting you go. This person is not letting you go. Like they may be upset with you because of something you did, or maybe a picture you posted or something, but they're not letting go. This could happen sometime in February. But let's see. Maybe so. The universe is on it. Trust your intuition. It will come to you. I don't I don't see this person walking away from this relationship because of something on social media. I see that something may have upset them, but it's not enough for them to leave. They may be sulky, but they're not leavey. <laughs> so what's the love message for Aquarius? Separation, romance. This person misses you. You are the missing piece here during the separation. You're both missing each other, but money versus love some of you aquarius may be choosing to do stuff for money like um i guess modeling or something i don't know but it's almost like the main story i'm getting is like the social media attention where you could start earning money and stuff like that but this person's like no you're mine i can't share you with the world 
that's like the main story but obviously that's not for everyone there's just something even if it's not social media there's something that upset this person but the way they're dealing with it is like to themselves like they're dealing with it on their own they're not trying to come and scream at you they're just they just want to sulk for a bit i don't see them letting you go Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Oh gosh, there's so many cards falling out. Okay. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. This could be them needing to keep an open mind. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got to take. This person, I feel like they may sulk for now, whatever they're sulking about, they're gonna sulk, but they, at the end of the day, they feel like this is not worth giving up, that they're gonna make the effort and give this a chance still, because they're not letting you go. Like, so what have you done? And if you're single right now, there's separation and all that, I feel like there's nothing for you to worry about. This person is coming right back because maybe they regret leaving or maybe they overreacted now they're thinking about it Aquarius you have a hold on this person <laughs> you have a hold on this person you are goals right now this is what I'm seeing for you Aquarius I hope this was helpful feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on also check out my collective and pick a card channel if you're interested in those, it's linked below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.